Hi everyone and welcome back to the podcast. I'm here. It's episode 26 and Ian is here. <laughs> it's not the order I normally do it in, but you know. Hi. Mixing things up now we've hit our six month anniversary. Yes, yeah, so we've been doing this for six months, which seems crazy because like, it doesn't feel like we've been doing it for six months. Um, and I kind of felt like we need to do something to celebrate. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a mini rant today. Uh, our topic of conversation is Lego customer services. Obviously, there is a backstory here that you probably need to know, but we would like to also like hear your experiences as well, because um, we're trying to work out the consistency and the level of service that Lego give. Um, so our specific story started at the start of last year, uh, at the start, start of this of the, year. Yeah, the start of this year. Yeah. Um, we were trying to order all the nice January first sets, weren't we? We were trying to get no, it wasn't. Uh, it was trying to get the Amelia Earhart promo. Oh, yes, so about February time, maybe. Yeah. And you placed an order. Yeah. And did I also place an order? I don't remember. No, okay. Um, yes, I think you did. Yeah, so my order came through. I got an email about it, but you didn't get one. Yep. So we spoke so, to customer services. Yeah, I think it was two days later. We'd still not got any confirmation email. Yeah, and we we were stressing because back then there was the previous gift with purchase where it ran out. So we were yeah. like, oh, my gosh, and... It, Hindsight, we can see how many Amelia Earhart's we have in um, our Lego room. I think we got like seven at the last count. Yeah. So clearly we didn't need to worry. But obviously, as Lego fans, we were worried. We were like, oh yep. no, we're going to miss out on this gift with purchase. So you phoned them up. Did you phone them up or did you just email them? Might have been the online chat. I, well, I kind of feel like the online chat was down at the very oh, start no, I think, Yeah, I think I did have to phone them. Yeah, because they were all like... Talk to an actual person. Struggling to keep up. So yep. you phoned them up and they said, oh, I can't see it on my back end system. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so the order is lost. So, oh my gosh, quick, put in another order. So we placed yep. an exact copy of the order, didn't we? Yep. And then no sooner as you'd placed that, I think like maybe 10, 20 minutes later, you got an email confirmation saying it had gone through, but it didn't match the order. Yeah. So that was the original order. Yes. So I got confirmation for both of them through very quickly. And it was just confusing. Yeah. And obviously at that point... It's already in warehouse, apparently, so you can't cancel the order. No. I mean, I don't know how it is that in less than half an hour, the order has been taken through and is now in the warehouse and is beyond their ability to cancel. I guess there's no back button, so it's gone to their computer and they can't go down and take it back off their computer. It is stupid. In which case, why even mention that you can cancel? No, it's true. If things can't be cancelled. Well, I think you can cancel things that are on back order. Right. So you change your mind, you don't want to wait for it. But as soon as it's... I mean, some, sometimes there's a, a slight delay, but I don't think there is much no. normally. If it's in stock, then it goes straight through. Yeah. So we're now in the situation where we have two orders for the exact same stuff. And we're still not 100% sure both are coming. So we, And we can't cancel one. So we just wait and see what happens. So... Both orders turn up. I think we yep. we did a brick haul to, to show that we had exactly the same order. And we contact Lego and we say, look, we can't afford both of these. We don't want both of these. And they say, right, send it back. Yep. Um, send the one order back. They will send through a shipping label. You just need to contact DPD. They will come and collect it or you drop it off or yep. something. And then we'll get a refund. And we're like, okay, right. This is really inconvenient. Kind of annoying. We've heard other people had similar problems. They've not had to do this kind of thing. Um, but, okay, that's the process. We'll send it back. So we wait for the shipping label. Mm. And nothing comes. No. No shipping label. And then, and then we, we, get get the, refund. we get the refund. And we're like, okay, maybe they've changed their minds. They, they're like, don't worry about the hassle. Here, here's just your money back. So we, we assume nothing of it. We put the sets away in our cupboard in a sort of... Right, we've got them if we need to give them back at some point. This was March last year. Yeah. Or, or, or March this year. So... You seem very confused about what year it is. I know, because it's the end of the year. I'm just like, ah. Um, so yesterday... Was it yesterday? No. On Monday... Oh, no, yeah, it must have been Monday. Yeah. On Monday, Ian goes to uh, take advantage of the Cyber Monday deals and changes VIP points into um, the the reduced rate vouchers and he spots in his order history that his last order has been cancelled and this last order is the bricklink invitational program the two um the windmill and the venetian houses yeah and we're like 
what? Why has that been cancelled? And that's a limited run set. Yeah. So that's a big issue at being cancelled. I'm like, Ian, have you had an email? He's like, no, I'm, I'm just answering for you now. That's okay. <laughs> and you go yeah. and check your email, you look through it, nothing. Yeah. So we get onto the online chat with customer services, who then cut you off. Yeah, they went to check something and then it cut me off because they didn't talk in enough time or whatever and then you have to go through the process again. Which is just stupid. You have to talk, it's one of those stupid chat bots so you have to fill in a whole bunch of information in it Mm -hmm. and then it'll put you in a queue to talk to someone and eventually they'll come and then they'll read through the history. Uh, But before they'd gone away they'd said that it looked like it had been cancelled because of a billing issue but not for that order, like an order back in March. So at this point we twig, okay, it's this, Mm. this order and... We're like, okay. And then we suddenly remember we've also ordered the castle, which is like the castle in the forest, which is sold out and super sought after. And we're like, oh my gosh, I hope that one hasn't been cancelled too. Because Ian hasn't spotted anything. He's not been checking his yeah. account. Um, so he's like stroll- scrolling back through his email trying to find the order number because he can't see it in his orders. And we don't think it was there until like seconds no, later. No, it was really weird. So I don't know if they'd gone in and done something in the back end. Mm. We did eventually find the order number, and then we found the order, and it was still in process. Yeah. Um. So we were breathe. I mean, it was proper stressful, and it's quite worrying how stressful that could be. Like, yeah. You're like it's just a Lego set, but then you're like, but there's no other opportunity to get that. We know of other people who are gutted to have missed out, and mm. we we didn't think we were missing out, and suddenly we might be missing yeah. out. And it it was like a, a roller coaster of emotions. I was not. I mean, and we talked about this when we talked about the whole ideas thing. That it is such a long lead time. Yeah, weird stuff's going to happen, and people are going to miss out on the set that they thought they were getting. Yeah, and I think it's it's outrageous. I'm super angry with Lego that they have cancelled your order mm. for a limited set. And it, it turns out that like those two things haven't sold out. But what if you'd ordered the Lego store? Yeah, there'd be no coming back yeah. from that. So. I put the order in for the two sets that we wanted. Mm. So that's hopefully there. Um, they said, right, they came back and said, we discovered this issue in October. Well, no, so yeah. She originally said that I was emailed about it in October. And then I went through and went, I have no emails from Lego. I had an email from, I think it was when they messed up and the... The vouchers, vouchers from yeah. on offer. So I had emails from that, and that was it from Lego for the entire of October. And stuff. and so, but then a bit later, she said that maybe the email had gone out in November. And then she was getting confused between American and European date format. Right. So it's like, well, it was either the 11th of October or the 10th of November, one of those. And I went, I have no emails from Lego on either of those dates. Mm. But then I looked at it, and the voucher that we just bought doesn't come from lego no it comes from lego at crowd something yeah which is really dodgy you shouldn't as a company you should not be using us like anything un- behind your at that isn't your yeah. company name but i think i've had this before where i've had an email from customer services or something's come through from a completely different yeah. company I, and the only thing that i can think of is that in the pandemic they're having to like outsource some of the email stuff but it they matter. need it's, to it's fix that it's dangerous it? to do yeah because it's what, like phishing and things yeah, you just... are encouraging people to open emails just if they claim to be from lego yeah um it's it's such bad practice and mm. so we still don't think there's an email from them some of the emails you have been getting aren't coming from them yeah. so who knows where this email has gone but they've essentially emailed you to say about it we don't know even what that email said like oh whether or that was an email saying they'd cancelled the order or saying that they need to talk to us. Nothing. Yeah. So we've had no com- communication with them. And they, they couldn't confirm whether they'd sent an email or not. <sighs> so it may be that they didn't send it at all. So they just cancelled the order. And the, the lady... Um, I assume lady, I don't know why. Yeah. Um, I can't she, remember what her name was. but They said that um, it's probably only luck that that Castle in the Forest order wasn't also yeah. cancelled. Because this is, I think this is what Lego do. They find out that you owe them money. And so they just cancel all your orders, which is really poor customer service. And especially especially if they don't tell you. Yeah, especially if they don't tell you, and especially if they do it for a a limited time set that you can't then get. And one that you're not expecting for a while. Yeah. If I if you order a set and it doesn't turn up a couple of days after you were expecting it to, you'd go and look and go, Oh, they've cancelled it and go and sort it out. When it's six months in the future. Yeah. I'm I'm so outraged about Mm. this. I think this is such a, a a shoddy level of yeah. customer service the, the fact that 
they haven't all right they've said sorry but i do not believe that any of the problems are our fault they sent no shipping label they took six months to discover that we hadn't paid for an order and we know of people who have not had to send things back therefore there's an inconsistency yeah that is making it that we just think that's oh it. that's how it goes they said we had to send back the set then we'd get a refund yeah we got a refund we assumed the process was ended yeah like yes we thought oh we've come off well from this deal but at the same time that was the process they told us so yeah. what well, we know other people who have had sets sent to them and they don't have to send them back okay it's our mistake whatever mm-hmm. so it, it it's just really infuriated me and if you don't have a standard level of service how can you know what to expect as a customer yeah how can you know if you're getting good customer service or bad customer service like the people who phone up customer service and they go oh no that's fine they they go away happy the people who phone up customer service and they're like oh it's, it's got a dented box because we're a rubbish like we use rubbish couriers um well you'll need to do this and this and this and this and this and then we'll send you a new one they're outraged because yeah. like they know of the other people whereas that is standard customer practice like you'd have to send it back or like uh, mm. company practice you send it but back there's also they'll this return weird it. thing that the lego online store doesn't seem to sync up with the actual lego stores you can't i ask could we just take the sets back to the lego store rather than having to deal with shipping labels and mm. taking them to a dpd collection no, point they said no it's right. like no it has to be done through dpd but they're one if entity you've got surely. A bashed box you should be able to take it back to a store mm. and then give you a new one obviously if you live in ireland then that's not possible See, now, again but, that's another level of inconsistency because i'm sure i've heard of people taking things back to the store or maybe i've heard of people complaining that they couldn't i don't know mm. i just it's like a, a black box of mystery it all comes down to lego don't understand tech yeah they don't understand security around emails clearly no and they that's did appalling. they wouldn't be sending them out via unknown domain names mm. their customer service system doesn't work if it can time them out while someone on their end is going and looking something up yeah that's that's also massive their trying. order system so when you look at your order history it was doing bizarre things as i was trying to yeah. page through it it wasn't doing it in a sensible order at all it's kind of like there's there's like a little filing system in lego and because the assistant was already looking through it, every time you went to look through it, they were moving it backwards and forwards. Yeah, maybe. Like it was like a physical copy that they're just, sort yeah. of, oh no, it's shifted again. It, that's the kind of level of service that it seems to be giving. Yeah. Like it's just paper. You're just looking at some paper mm. and, and the person who filed it isn't you. And then someone else has come and filed it and used a completely different system. It's just like, what is going on? And it all stems from an order that they couldn't see on their back end. Yeah. At the very start. So it's, again, another tech issue. But it also comes that that there is... Maybe there's a lack of training in the staff on what they should be offering. So sometimes you'll phone up and you'll get VIP points for something. Sometimes you'll phone up and you'll get nothing. And just an apology. And it shouldn't be up to the discretion of staff. There should be a clear handbook for... Well, no, I've heard that they've changed policies and stuff. So, like, at one point they were giving out gift points. Then it was they were giving out too many gift points. They were told not to give any Mm. out anymore. It was, you know... Yeah... And again, the consistencies in like maybe the store customer service as well. So this is one that I took advantage of with the Builder minifigures, getting the five of any item in a, each box. Yeah. So I managed to get like 15 pigs in a, a Builder minifigure box. And my Lego store offered that. And then they got in trouble for doing it because another Lego store didn't. And I'm like, okay, right. They've cracked down on it all over. And yet I saw a YouTube video the other day of someone who'd done it in America, exactly the same that I'd done. So yeah. it's like, okay, so why is it different everywhere? Yes, the the memo came down from Lego headquarters to the stores. Everything has to be consistent, but well, it's not still. Would it have gone to all the stores, or was it just UK-wide? Just UK. it, you know, there's, it's so and, hard to tell. And it bothers me that they crack down on it in the wrong way, because if you go to the Build a Minifigure stand, mm. it tells you five items per minifigure. It doesn't say you have to. Ha- it suggests one, yeah. one accessory, three like main parts, and mm. four main parts. Yeah, legs, Leg, torso, torso, head, head hair, hair, and accessory. So five, and but it's it's it says five five bits per minifigure. Yeah. So why can you not do what it says now? Yeah. They've they've cut the level of service to to be yeah. rubbish. I'm just so angry. I mean, some of them don't even let you build the minifigure. Like, not. <sighs> Physically, yeah. Because At the moment, because COVID, of COVID, yeah. But you can't say I want that head and that no. torso. They'll go, nope. You can have these 
the predefined ones. All of them have done that now, I think. Um, the in which case they need to rename it. It's not build a minifig. No, it's just buy a minifig from yeah. a pre-selected menu. Um, the lady in the Southampton store did let me swap the hair. In fact, she suggested swapping the hair because I was buying two of the same character, right. and she went, "Oh, do you want some variety?" Yeah. So they still want to help you, and that's the thing that the members of staff do want to help mm. you. But they are a bit now worried of getting in trouble for doing things like that. It wasn't Southampton, was it? Yes, yeah, that was. No, Sheffield is a different one. But, but they did the same. No, they didn't. No, did they not? Okay. No, Sheffield gave me two exactly the okay, same right. minifigures. Um, it was the last time I went to Southampton yeah. that they, they did it. So, yeah. We went to too many Lego stores, clearly. <laughs> um, but Southampton always used to mm. like do it for us. And then I, I just i am bothered that they can't do it anymore. Yeah. But I'm really, really angry about the fact that we could have missed out on two really hard sets. And especially that castle panic. Yeah. And I'm still worried because we haven't sent it back yet. Yes. Because we didn't have a box. Like, we we didn't save it in the box because mm. it took up too much room. We couldn't fit it in the cupboard that way. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just so like... we have ah. now got a box. Now we need to print the label off, obviously. Yeah, we that's... don't have a printer. So it's just so inconvenient. It is. I said, taking it to the Lego store would be so much easier. So uh, unless you bag, live in Ireland where there's no... Arguments. Yeah, if you live in Ireland and yes. there's no Lego store. For us, we go to a Lego store so often, doing an extra trip down to take back some sets yeah. would be so much easier than this. Yeah. I'm just six months. I feel if it's more than six months to find an error, so March to October, that's seven months. Hmm. They should just be like, okay, that's our bad. Well, it could be that they didn't spot it until the Fickley invitation order went through, and that's what triggered the system. But then they shouldn't cancel that order if it's just gone no, through. No, they really shouldn't. As you say, but you'd already placed easily... the castle one. I don't, that's why I don't understand. Why yeah. did that not trigger it? Why did you order the VIP things? That's an order still. I mean, maybe it's a different story. It's a completely it's different system, knowing Lego. The whole thing is shoddy, and they really need to work yeah. on it. Um, but what we want to know is, how inconsistent are they? What is your experience with Lego customer service? Have you ever had to send things back if there's an issue with the box, or they've sent you the wrong things, or do they let you keep them? Have you had any worse customer services like that? Any cancelled orders and things, just let, let us know in the comments because we would really like to know a bit more about this. And maybe we can try and like give Lego some feedback um, as a collective because they need to fix this process. They do. Need to sort themselves out. Yeah. Right. That was um, not the happy six month anniversary of the podcast that we want, but it's, a, it's an issue that needs to be discussed. And it's the one that was most on our minds this week because of that, that story. Yeah. If you want to catch any other episodes which is slightly less ranty yeah we well, don't always rant um including the one that we've done on lego technology you can check our youtube back catalog out that link will be either on the screen now or in the show notes and don't forget to come back next week for another episode where we will be a lot calmer i promise bye bye <laughs>